What do we see in 2020? Social unrest, political strife, unhealed and freshly opened wounds, and oh yeah, COVID-19. At Love You More, we're asking ourselves, what does love look like in this moment? Clap one time if you can hear me. Clap two times. One time. Two times. Three times. Guys, we gotta do this together. This is Tony Sané, former U.S. professional soccer star and 2002 World Cup team member. But more crucially, Tony's a philanthropist and founder of the Sané Foundation, an ever-expanding Twin Cities nonprofit committed to community building and community provision of just about every kind. The Lord's blessed me. Everyone's always looked out for me. And so I wanted to be able to do that on a larger scale. Tony was kind enough to show us around the foundation's home base in the Conway neighborhood of East St. Paul, where they provide food assistance, mental health and wellness resources, and an after-school program to families in need. And we were lucky to get some time with a few young staff members during our visit. These are really the people that make it all happen. A lot of kids, they, they depended on school lunches and school clothes early and we was there to help them out. If you got problems with housing, rent, and stuff like that, they help with everything. You know, we've been serving food here before COVID, and he's been doing it for the last couple of years. So why why do you do it? Why do you come here and serve food for the community for us, and why do you volunteer at the Sonic Foundation? Because that's what we should be doing. That's what we need to be doing. Right. Not taking from each other, but helping each other. Right. The Foundation's flagship academic intervention program, Dreamline, pairs young coaches with under-resourced students at high schools around Minnesota. The Foundation also takes up local environmental efforts, donates athletic equipment around the world, and runs free sports camps with some big names. And all of that on top of an initiative in Haiti and a $10 million community center rebuild. A couple staff members spoke about a recent project with Caddy U, another nonprofit that promotes business literacy and offers a unique first job experience for these teens. Working with the Sonic Foundation and the partnership that we have with Caddy U is, is like it's a real blessing, you know. I never thought I'd see myself being a caddy. It's a very lucrative business and teaches you a lot about hospitality and the hospitality business, you know. Principal of Ann Wanton Middle School in Minneapolis, Ellen Shulman, spoke about the rich development and intergenerational love shared within this Sané Foundation community. Yeah, there's love energy absolutely across the board here. Um, laughter and storytelling. I think that's not something that just happens. I mean, it, it can, but you have to have an environment that nurtures that. I can't provide that in a middle school setting for them. I don't think many high schools um, are providing the kind of learning that they're getting. My name is James Brown. I'm here at the Solid Foundation. And uh, basically, this is my home, basically. Here. Yeah. It definitely made me a better person. Mm. It definitely made me a better person. It's been real fun. Like, I, like, I enjoy working here. And I come an hour early every day. That's how much I like working here. What rings eminently true about these Sané staff is their commitment and loyalty to the cause. They're bought in 100%, and their sense of belonging, their enthusiasm that's just so palpable in this space is like a firmly planted root from which all the outreach and all the service work can branch out. I learned that if people around me are having a good time, I'm gonna have a good time. So selfishly, I wanna make sure everyone's having a great time, because then my experience is gonna be better. My World Cup, the highlight of my career, right? People say, was it the highlight? Yes, the World Cup was, but it wasn't on the field. It was closing my eyes and envisioning every person that supported me was watching and proud with me at that moment, you know? And it is about people, and that's what this place is about. It's been an exhausting year for all and a catastrophic year for many made worse by a pretty toxic public discourse. Cynicism, negativity, there's a lot of this self-serving signaling and grandstanding out there as well. But at the Sané Foundation, there's just no time for any of that. They've got a job to do. These young kids, teenagers, adults, 
They know they're part of something good, something constructive, something loving, and they can walk confidently in that truth. So what does love look like in this moment? Love is action. Love is optimism. Love is hope and opportunity. Love is home. We want to help families and we're not going to stop until the problems stop. So we're here for the long haul.